Welcome to Lecture Online. In this video, we're going to explore the concept of decimals. Here before us, we have a pretty big number. It's 2,469,523, a decimal place, and then 4159. What, those, what do those numbers mean? The first number here indicates how many millions you have. So the numbers are called millions. Two of them, so we have two million. This number represents how many hundred thousands you have. You have four of them, so this is four times 100,000 or 400,000. This number tells you how many 10,000s you have. There's six of them, and this number represents how many thousands you have. There's nine of them. Then we get into this number here, which represents how many hundreds you have, five of them, how many tens you have, two of them, and how many ones you have, or units you have, three of them. Then we have a decimal place. Now what do these numbers represent? This represents tenths, one hundreds, one thousands, and ten thousands. Here you have four tenths, one one hundred, five one thousands, and nine ten thousands. So we do say five one thousands. To get a better concept of a decimal, here we have the number 3.4. Three represents how many units you have or how many ones you have. There's three of them, you have three whole units. Plus, you have a decimal place, four. That means four tenths. Four tenths means there's four out of ten units to make a whole new unit again. Or maybe better yet, if you take a whole unit and divide it into ten equal pieces, if you then take four of those, this represents four out of a total of ten, so this is four tenths. Of course, you have the complete units here, you have three complete units, and you have four tenths of a unit a little bit less than one half of a unit. Here we have 3.42. We still have three whole units. That's represented by the number three. We have four tenths. So we grab four of these, four out of ten. And then we have two one hundreds. Notice you take one tenth and you divide it into ten equal pieces. Each of those little pieces represents one one hundred of a whole unit. You would need a hundred of these little pieces to make up a whole unit. That's what the second decimal place represents. Since we have two of them, we will just go ahead and color in two of those pieces. So 3.42 means you have three whole units. You have four tenths of a unit, or if you divide a unit into ten equal pieces, you have four of them. And then you take one tenth of those, of one tenth piece, divide into ten equal pieces. Those are now hundreds, and we have two of those, two one hundredths, four tenths, and three whole units is written as 3.42. That's what we mean by a decimal.